हेलो एंड वेलकम माय डियर सेकंड स्टैंडर्ड स्टूडेंट्स आई एम रोहन सर यू ऑल नो मी वेरी वेल बिकॉज डेली आई ब्रिंग न्यू एंड इंटरेस्टिंग इंग्लिश एंड ग्रामर लेक्चर्स फॉर यू माय डियर लिटिल चैम्स टुडे यू माइट बी थिंकिंग व्हाट रोहन सर हैज ब्रॉड फॉर अस नाउ एज यू कैन सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन टूडे आई हैव रिटर्न इंग्लिश एंड ग्रामर इन द सब्जेक्ट येस so today's lecture will be the combination of both the subjects english as well as grammar now in the previous lecture of grammar we have started the revision of chapter number 4 so obviously we are going to complete that chapter number 4 for which exercise 1 we have already finished so after the completion of exercise number 2 that means at the end of chapter 4 after we complete that chapter we are going to start with our english work so i hope you all are ready with your books now today you have to keep your rough book as well as english textbook with you and those who have grammar textbook they have to keep grammar textbook rough book and english textbook because not only in the grammar but also in the english we are going to write few things so what are we going to do today that is what you might be thinking so revision of chapter number 4 of grammar and then we are going to revise few hard words and pronunciations of some hard words of lesson number 3 my dear students this is the chapter we had started in the previous lecture the revision of chapter number 4 pronouns so students i explained you what is pronouns by explaining you all these pictures and sentences within i told you that pronouns are the words which are used instead of nouns or the words which replaces the noun is called a pronoun again i will show you one picture and try to recollect your knowledge the sentence is the dog is happy it is wagging its tail now in the second sentence it is wagging means dog is wagging so instead of dog it is used so it is pronoun which replaces the noun dog this way if any word replaces the noun it is called pronoun so then after students we have even solved exercise number 1 in which you had to circle the pronoun in the sentences so now we are going to move towards exercise number 2 before that read the sentences let us read this sentence and let us see what data what knowledge it gives us now i hope those who are having the textbook they are sitting with their textbook ready those who are not having textbook they have their rough book with them let's get started read the sentences Samira is in class. Samira loves to read. Samira is reading the book on animals. Okay. So what is it? It is tiresome to say the the name Samira again and again. You can instead rewrite these sentences as Samira is in class. She loves to read. she is reading a book on animals so what difference did you see students in the previous sentence samira 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 three times the same name was repeated whereas in the modified sentence using pronoun samira is only used one time so the length of the sentence also becomes short as well as it does not becomes boring to listen to it so pronouns helps us to refer to a person animal or a thing without repeating their name again and again 
now i hope you might have understood what is the use of pronoun by this example now here exercise 2 is very interesting and really very creative what you have to do rewrite the sentences using suitable pronouns now as you saw the example samira was removed and pronoun was used and the sentence was rewritten in the same way you have to rewrite the sentence using pronoun wherever necessary let's get started with this easy exercise and interesting exercise sentence a manas is tall manas loves to play basketball manas is good at it oh my god so many times manas manas and manas so what do you have to do simply you have to use pronoun to replace manas i mean to say to replace the word you can obviously not replace the boy so you have to replace the name manas now manas is a boy so which pronoun will you use for the boy either you will use he or him here manas is in the starting of the sentence so you have to obviously use he h e he i will rewrite the sentence and i will show it to you how it is possible now first sentence will remain as it is manas is tall let me write the first sentence manas is tall and full stop so this will remain as it is my dear students now we have to change from the second half part manas loves to play basketball so instead of manas what do we have to write yes he loves to play basketball and then full stop so you can see manas is tall he loves to play basketball wow it is modified with pronoun he again manas is good at it so what will we do yes instead of writing manas is good at it we will write he is good at it so now you can see students the difference between the question and the answer i have written the question was manas is tall manas loves to play basketball manas is good at it now while using the pronoun we replaced manas with he so the modified sentence is or i should say answer is manas is tall he loves to play basketball he is good at it isn't it very easy just you have to find the noun which is repeated in the sentence and you have to replace it with the suitable pronoun or the the remaining part of the sentence will be as it is this is really fun let's let's solve the next one the next sentence is the sun is a ball of fire the sun is hot the sun gives us light so dear students here which noun is repeated yes the sun the sun and the sun is repeated three times in all these three sentences so what do we have to replace obviously the sun how to replace in the first sentence manas was a boy so we replaced it with he here the sun is boy or girl sun is neither a boy nor a, nor a girl because sun is not a human being right sun is a big star in our galaxy in our solar system so we have to use it for the sun so it is the perfect pronoun for the sun so first sentence i will write it down the sun is a ball of fire the sun is a 
ball of fire and full stop and i will place the sentence so first sentence will remain as it is the sun is a ball of fire now the changes will be in the second and the third part of this sentence the sun is hot so instead of writing the sun what did i say which is the replacement for the sun it 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 so we will write it is hot can you see here the sun is a ball of fire it is hot so we have replaced the sun with it it and the last sentence the sun gives us light what can we write yes instead of writing the sun we have to write it it gives us light so it gives us light and full stop now this is the perfect modified sentence the sun is a ball of fire it is hot it gives us light now everywhere instead of sun i have replaced the sun with pronoun it so this way we have to do in all the sentences let us solve few more i hope that those students who are solving in the textbook and rough book they too are writing in their books so when i am writing when i am explaining you you have the time to write the answers in your book as well next sentence sentence c charu is a happy girl charu is wearing a new dress charu is going to a party which which noun is repeated students yes charu is repeated again three times here now what did i say the first sentence will remain as it is so first sentence is the first part of this sentence is charu is a happy girl so let us write the same sentence charu is a happy girl full stop so there is no change in first sentence second is charu is wearing a new dress now charu is girl can we use he instead of charu no can we use it instead of charu obviously not what do we use yes for girls we use she or her so here we have to use she as charu is in the subject part in the starting part of the sentence we will say charu is wearing a new dress instead of that we will write she is wearing a new dress that's it so second half part we have solved and the third part is charu is going to a party what will we replace charu with she so she is going to a party full stop i will write here because the space is not there so students now you can see charu is a happy girl she is wearing a new dress she is going to a party now we have replaced charu with the pronoun she so isn't it very easy obviously it is very easy because you just have to find the convenient pronoun for the noun and that's it then the matter is solved then you have to just write down the sentence as it is so i hope you enjoyed this and i'll i'll keep these two for you to solve it and to send it to me when you finish this lecture when you watch this lecture so with this our grammar lecture for today is over let us jump on towards the english lecture so my dear students like i said we are going to start with 
English chapter 3. Why? Because chapter 1 and 2 are already over in our FA1 exam. So, chapter 3 we have to do the revision because exams are near. So, chapter 3 we will start the revision with few hard words and its pronunciation. Yes, I will highlight the hard words here which you have to write it down in your rough notebook and repeat after me. I hope this thing is clear. So, please give the heading, please give the heading hard words. Please give the heading hard words. I have also written on the screen if you can see hard words. Please give the heading hard words and also write chapter 3. Also write chapter 3. In the new page obviously not on the same page where you were solving the grammar. Obviously on the new page you will write because new subject we have started. So I hope you have written the heading hard words chapter 3. Now you remember the story Jack and the Beanstalk? Wasn't it very interesting? So let's revise the hard words and in the next lectures, upcoming lectures, I will even revise the story of this chapter. So be ready to again understand this chapter, revise this chapter and it is going to be very great opportunity for those who have missed my previous lectures. Let's get started with the hard words of this chapter. These hard words are for the revision not to be written in your fair notebook. Let's get started. So the first hard word for you is milky white. Please write down this hard word milky white. I hope you all have started writing. The spelling is very clearly written milky white. M I L K Y dash W H I T E white. Please write it down milky white. Okay, so now it's time for you to repeat after me. Please repeat the spelling and the pronunciation with me. M I L K Y W H I T E Milky White. I hope you have written this spelling in your book. Now, the next hard word is here. Wondered. Please write it down in your books quickly students. Wondered. I will zoom in for you so that you can see very clearly the spelling and note it down in your rough notebook. W-O-N-D-E-R-E-D. -E -E Wondered. W-O-N-D-E-R-E-D. -E -E Wondered. Very good, those who are writing it quickly with nice good handwriting. I really appreciate those students who are writing it in this way. Okay, now it's time for you to repeat after me. Please repeat this spelling and pronunciation. W O N D E R E D Wondered. Isn't it very easy? Yes, it is very easy if you practice it again and again. And by the time the exam will be there, these hard words will be very easy, a piece of cake for you to remember it. Now students, the next hard word we are going to search here for is overnight. 
प्लीज राइट इट डाउन ओवर नाइट ओ वी ई आर एन आई जी एच टी ओवर नाइट आई होप ऑल माई स्मार्ट एंड इंटेलिजेंट स्टूडेंट्स आर राइटिंग इट ओवर नाइट नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर यू टू रिपीट आफ्टर मी प्लीज रिपीट इट आफ्टर मी लाउडली एंड क्लियरली ओ वी ई आर एन आई जी एच टी ओवर नाइट सो दीज आर द टू हार्ड वर्ड्स इन वन दैट मीन्स दिस इज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू वर्ड्स ओवर प्लस नाइट ओवर नाइट सो इफ यू रिमेंबर लाइक दिस इट इज वेरी ईजी इज एंड इट ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट हार्ड वर्ड इज हैप्पीली हैप्पीली येस मैनी ऑफ यू नो हाउ टू राइट हैप्पी बट वेन यू हैव टू राइट हैप्पीली यू मेक मिस्टेक प्लीज राइट इट डाउन एंड आई होप मैनी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड राइटिंग इट एच ए डबल पी आई एल वाई हैप्पीली H A W P I L Y happy Lee. Now please repeat after me, students. H A W P I L Y happy Lee. So students, I hope you have written this spelling happy Lee. Now here the next hard word is. sprung please write it down in your books s p r u n g sprung s p r u n g sprung also please repeat after me loudly and clearly s p r u एन जी स्प्रंग ओके द नेक्स्ट हार्ड वर्ड इज बीन स्टॉक प्लीज राइट इट डाउन एंड मेक श्योर वेन यू आर राइटिंग द न्यू हार्ड वर्ड यू लीव वन वन लाइन फॉर ईच सो द स्पेलिंग इज बी ई ए एन एस टी ए एल के bean stock b e a n s t a l k bean stock i hope you are writing it down in your books now along with writing you can also repeat after me for those who are writing it very slowly so please repeat after me b e a n S T A L K bean stock. Again, this is the combination of two spellings. It is a compound word, bean and stock. So bean plus stock is bean stock. So try to remember the hard words separately. It will be easier for you. Okay, I hope you have written this hard word, students. The next hard word is. climbed i will highlight it again i hope you can see it on your screens climbed c l i m b e d climbed so it is a past form of climb and when you say climb you do not you should not pronounce it as climbed because b is silent so it's climbed so b is silent anyways it's time for you to repeat after me c l i m b e d climbed please do not say climbed because b is silent it is climbed okay now 
the next hard word is breakfast breakfast i hope you are writing it down students and please do not forget to write it down clearly because you have to send all your written work to us either to the follow up teacher or to me you can send it to anyone but make sure you are doing this so if you will revise it well in exam you will be able to write the correct answer without the help of anyone b r e a k f a s t breakfast please repeat after me students b r e a k f a s t break fast again compound word means a combination of two words break plus fast break fast so if you will remember like this this is very easy spelling for you even breakfast you know which you eat in the morning you consume in the morning it is your breakfast i hope you have repeated after me and you have written it in your book now the last word for today grew the last word for today grew g r e w grew yes i am also giving you the hard word from the meaning answer because it is also very important now here two things will happen if you will remember the hard words first thing is you will even remember the spelling second you will be able to remember the answer of that meaning okay please repeat after me g r e w grew g r e w grew it is a past tense past form of verb of grow grow grew grown okay i hope students you have written this word so this is the end of our writing session keep your pencils down be relax now students in the next lecture please be ready with your english textbook and rough notebook because we are going to start the revision of english also make sure that not only writing part but explanation part will be also revised for those who want to understand the story again so students thanks for watching the lecture and do not forget to send the work to the follow up teachers all the teachers might be waiting for you eagerly so please take your 2 to 3 seconds of the time and please click the photos of whatever you have done and send it to your teachers thank you and goodbye